Alrighty, so where were we? Oh, so we were spooning the mayonnaise into the um, the containers for the spinach dip, but the timer just went off for my noodles, so that means my noodles are ready. So what we're gonna do, sorry, I have to leave you there because I need both hands. We cancel the timer, we turn off, oh, oh. We turn off the stove for the noodles. We stir the sauce one more time. Now that the noodles are ready, we might as well turn the sauce off too, right? Okay. Glove up so you don't burn yourself. Get a strainer, colander, whatever it's called, put it in the sink and drain the water out of your noodles. And if any noodles get stuck in the pan, like like this, you take their spoon and get them out. Once you have the empty pan, you're good. Let your noodles strain for a minute. Um, so while we're doing that, we will finish uh, putting the mayonnaise into our spinach dip. And we know that mayonnaise goes into our spinach dip because... That's what our little vegetable mix package tells us to do. So right now I'm just measuring out three quarters of a cup of, oh I did not plan that right. Now I can't wash my hands because I have noodles in the sink. Okay, but, oh I can get a paper towel I guess, but that's not very good for the environment. Huh. Okay, so I have my three quarters cups of mayonnaise. That's going into our spinach dip mix. Do, do, do. You can sing if you want to. I'm not a very good singer. Like, I'm a terrible singer because I can't carry a tune. But, yeah. It makes it fun if you sing, huh? Okay. And then, because that was three quarters of a cup... Five second rule, don't tell anyone. All right, you spoon the um, the mayonnaise into the quarter of a cup since we did three quarters of a cup. Hey, don't judge, I told you this was a, um, a terrible cooking show from the beginning, right? So, can't say I didn't warn you. Okay, and then we put our quarter cup in our spinach dip mix and make sure we get all of it out into our spinach dip mix all right if we made a mess we may want to clean that up just a suggestion you don't want ants if you don't live by yourself you don't want anyone yelling at you um Alright, so we clean that up, clean up the mayonnaise, oh man, I made a huge mess. Oh well, it's all cleanable. So you do that, get the mayonnaise, uh, go ahead and put the mayonnaise away, because you can use the space on the counter. Whew. There we go. And then, our noodles, we take our noodles, just shake them a little bit to make sure all the water is drained out. Take them and pour them into our sauce pan. Oh, please, get in there. And then, where did I put my gloves? Oh, back here. Okay. And then, so right now, our pasta looks like this. All the sauce is on the bottom. But what we're going to do, we are going to stir it really well. Oh, uh, you know what? While we're doing this, we may want to add salt. Technically, you're supposed to salt the noodles while you're boiling them, but I always forget. Okay, so uh, I do not know. I don't know where my last video cut off because my phone ran out of space. But we were making spinach dip and spaghetti. Um, the noodles are pretty much ready. They're just setting. The spinach dip, we just um, added the mayonnaise to, so we're going to stir that around using our, I believe it's called a whisk. It finally came to me, my goodness. 
Mag Ooh, it makes it fluffy. Look at how fluffy it looks. It's so cool. Oh, you can't see. Okay, well. Okay. I'm taking out this spoon because it's so much cooler. When see, usually when you're cooking, I think you're supposed to pull your hair back. And you're probably also not supposed to light your dad's jacket on fire. But, oh, what was that? Okay, good. Glad you're paying attention. Alrighty. Okay, now, next step, you take the vegetable recipe mix, which you can get at Target or Lucky's or probably any grocery store um, on the soup aisle. And then open it and pour it on in. Sometimes I like to do it like a little bit at a time and stir it. Sometimes I like to do the whole thing and stir it. Today I just did the whole thing and we will stir it in now. An eight ounce water chestnuts drained and chopped and three green onions chopped. But I've never done it that way. I've never put the walnuts or chestnuts, whatever, and the green onions. And although, oh, no, I don't want to ruin it. I was going to say, I have my garden growing green onions right now, and they came up good, but I don't feel like picking them, and I don't feel like chopping them. So, I'll just keep making it the way that I've been making it, and maybe next time, remember to get the chestnuts and try the green onions. By the way, on some future episode, or maybe I've done it before, of this terrible cooking show. Just kidding, this will probably be the only episode of this cooking show. Um, it'll be the potato dish with green onions and ham and cheese and baking bits. It's delicious. I'm telling you guys, I'm a good cook. I just can't explain what I'm doing. See this whisk? Here's where the spoon comes into play. Maybe. To help get some of that stuck stuff off of the whisk. Okay, that is that. Now you find... Oh. Ah! There we go. That's better. You find something to cover that with and you chill in the fridge. I personally really like these things called cover-ups. I don't know if they're still available. I got them at Dollar Tree like a year ago. Um, but yeah, you just put it over the bowl like so. Like, like this. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but yeah, I bought like 50 of them at Dollar Tree. Like 50 boxes of 20 at Dollar Tree a while ago. And then you just put it in the fridge and voila. Coming up next on um, Courtney's Terrible Cooking Show. I guess that's what we're calling this now. Learn how to make some onion dip to go with your potato chips. Alright, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If I don't see you within the next hour or so. And, um, yeah, go 49ers! Yay!